obviously, like, I want to keep this, like, as short as possible. Like, you guys have games coming up after. Um, but I just want to, like... I am responsible for the hockey players um, in a way that I talk to them. I give them my advice uh, as a former experienced um, Olympic athlete and uh, just talk to them and make them feel comfortable and, and that kind of stuff. But, um, so we've already met at the focus day uh, two days ago or three days ago in the meantime. Um, I just wanted to congratulate every single one of you for like making the Youth Olympic Games. Like this is a sick experience and congratulations to every single one of you for that. Being a role model is, is something different, I guess, because uh, I don't get to do that every day in like being in like an official role. It's more that I obviously try and, and be a role model in, in any situation that I am in um, outside of the Youth Olympic Games, of course. But being in like such an official role is definitely different. And sometimes I do get to do stuff that is not what I'm really used to. Um, but I, I enjoy it still and, and it puts me in a situation where I get to learn as well. The advice I would give them is really be like a sponge in a way that just soak up everything, soak up all the emotions that you can, make new friends, meet new people, um, ask questions, learn from each other and, and just uh, really have fun That's because that's what it's ultimately all about. Uh, the Youth Olympic Games are fantastic. It's such a great opportunity for some, such young athletes to, to first of all, ex expose themselves um, on in such an international stage, but also at the same time to feel that kind of pressure already at a young age in a way that it can prepare them um, for the future and maybe one day for, for the big Olympic Games. I just want to, like, I've said it, like, three Actually, I retired a year and a half ago. I'm impressed by everything here. Um, it's been I've been here for four days now, and it's been a blast. Like the way it's it's organized is fantastic. The people are so helpful. There's so many volunteers helping. The athletes are having a great time. They're being supported everywhere, and and performance has been great. So I'm really really happy how it is. I mean, it's it's different, but at the same time, I grew up playing men's ice hockey, um, so I am I am comfortable being around that many boys and and just talk to them. Um, of course. I think for them it would have been a bit more interesting talking to like my male counterpart that um, has played in the NHL before than like talking to me. But at the same time, I it's all about just talking to them, make them feel comfortable, tell them about what I went through and like the things that I experienced. And I think that in in the end, it doesn't matter whether they're boys or girls. It's uh, been really fun, the games that I saw. There's, it's very dynamic. Um, obviously, uh, you can tell some teams have a um, bit of difficulties or aren't as close of like teammates um, than they probably would be with, with if they would have played with their country. Um, but I think it, it adds so much like special um, to, to the whole game, having those mixed teams. I think, uh, I think the, the girls and the boys are, are enjoying it a lot. And I think for, for the audience, it's fun to watch. A special moment for these young Olympians who started the competition as strangers and end it as teammates and medal winners.